Right, I want you to have a look on the table for a while, and you will realize there's a certain trend. It starts from 0 0.01 until how much for the probability? This is the probability. It goes up until 0 0.25, 0 0.5, until 0 0.5, and that's it. Okay? So, in short, there is no probability higher than 0 0.5 in this book. So that's one of the criteria that you need to know. So what happens if for binomial, binomial probability, that you get yourself whether P is more than 0 0.5? This is what we are going to explore now. Okay, uh, the theory will go something like this. Whatever you're trying to search, let's say we, we change the binomial. Let's say this is the n, this is the probability. Sorry. We change it into y. We are still n, the same thing. But it will be 1 minus p. So if I get myself like here, it will be like 0 0.7. Here is 10. The n will still remain as 10. But the 1 minus p it will become 0 0.3. So it will be less than 0 0.5 over here. Okay, no matter, no matter what number you give me. 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.9, 0 0.1. Okay? And then what we are going to find, the x... Let's say we're going to find the x will be the opposite. Basically, n minus x. x this stands for the value. The number of things, I guess. We want to find. So that's the theory part. So let's have a look. Before we go to the calculation, let's say you start something like this. Let's say you start with a x where the binomial we know is a binomial. It means here number of x with binomial. We're going to have ten objects with a zero point eight probability. Okay, this is your n. This is your p. People at the back, can you hear my voice? Yeah. Loud and clear? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so before we calculate further, so let's try, firstly, this one I want more than 4. Remember about binomial, it's a discrete. So like I mentioned before, I highly recommend you do the room technique. <coughs> so... 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Especially when it's P more than 0 0.5, then the room technique is going to save your life sometimes. So more than 4, more than equals to 4, where direction? Which direction? Including 4? You're going in this direction, okay? Why, right? It's not working. So we want to go in this direction. Okay, as I mentioned before, the P is more than 0 0.8, so we want to find the alternative. So you, firstly, you change, yes, you write down this in your working steps, where Y is also a binomial, then 0 0.2. You write this down in your exam works, okay? So firstly, this, we, this, firstly we write this one, and then we write this one. So we, we are telling, hey, we're going in the other way. So more than 4, right now, x is more than 4. As I mentioned just now, we are going for the opposite. 4 included. So we would like to find for P, Y, 
this one is more or equal so I'm going for less I don't want this one so I'm going for this direction so it will be what more than 4 supposed to be less than 3 Eh, sorry, sorry. It's, it's not that. Uh, it's an n minus p. I mentioned here before, just now. n minus x, okay? So n minus x, which is 10 minus 4. Even my blacks. So we're going with 6. n minus x. So just now, x becomes y, 4 becomes 6. And the direction change in the, in the opposite way. Okay, got it? Before we calculate this one, let's try again for another, another, another type. So let's say if I want this, px more than 4, firstly we need to declare the exact one, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, more than 4, where? Starts from? 5. So, I can rewrite more than 4, such as Px more and equals to 5. Are you okay with this? So, what should, should you write down now? Firstly, you need to write down that we are going. We are not going with the x direction. We are going with the y direction. It's a binomial. Ten, zero point two. And then your n minus x. Ten minus five. So, you want to find y. Opposite of this. Less and equals to 5 of this. Alright? Let's make a bit of indication. This one's the opposite. This one is n minus x. Okay? Clearer now? Same goes for this one. This one's the opposite. This one is n minus x. Now, what about for this one? Px more than, sorry, less than 4. I, pref I prefer we start with the room technique. So less than 4, where is it? Is 4 included? No, so 0 until 3. So it will become px less and equals to 3. Ah, even my black is dying. I didn't buy a new one yet. So we indicate we're going in the y direction. 10, 0 0.2. Okay. So what will happen? N minus x, what do we get? 10 minus 
3. Choose the correct one. 7. So it will become what? P. Y. More and equal to. 7. You get all the patterns? Okay. The opposite. <coughs> okay, now let's try and solve them. This part, you know how to solve already. <coughs> so, y less than 6. What do we know about using the table? The table only calculate left to right. So if I want to have less or equals to 6, less and equals to 6 is this direction. How do I calculate that? The, the, the table is going to calculate these sides. So how do we get this? Yes, I heard you. 1 minus. 1 minus this one here. P, Y, more and equals to 7. And then so we get ourselves this one. So now we refer to our table. It's not that difficult. The probability is 0 0.2. The n is 10. 0 0.2. You found here? Okay, 0 0.2. Where the n is 10. Are you okay? We want to find more than 7. So it will be this one, 0 0.009. Can you see it? Okay. And it's 10, P 0 0.2, and our IX is 7, 0 0.009. So 1 minus 0 0.009. 0 0.0009. Y minus 0 0.0009. Are you okay? Are you good? Did you bring your book? Okay, good. Okay, try and solve this one without me helping you first. There's an equal over down here. Or let me rewrite things again. On your own, then we compare our answers, okay? And then try and solve this one. Okay, viewers, give it a try as well. Good luck. Okay, so let's try. For less than 5, I want in this direction. Since the table is only calculated from left to right, so I should calculate such as 1 minus Px more and equals to 6. This direction. And I look in our table. So 10, P is 10, N is 10. Eh, sorry, P is 0 0.2, N is 10. And I find 6, 0 0.06. 0 0.0064 so 1 minus 0 0.064 1 minus 0 0.0064 and it will give me the answer 0 0.9936 do we get the same? very good congratulations and for this one here I want x more than 7 more equals to 7 that means 7 is included Hey, this one is easy, so just straight away look at our books. I think it's similar as what we have done over here just now. 
So, 0 0.0009. Do we got the same? Okay, some say yes, yeah, some say no. Do you need help? This one, you need help. You need help in which part? In the table. Okay, so I know my N is 10. My P is 0 0.2. So P is 0 0.2, N is 10, and I want my, my X, or my Y in this case is 7. Are you okay with this? Are you okay with this concept? So 0 0.2, N is 10. Now I find 7. I find my 7 over here. So I look around them and it goes here. Are you okay? So that's how I got it. Okay, so let's move on. Done.